When Paolo dropped in early access, countless players flocked to the critter collecting survival game masquerading as a meme. Sadly, though, since its release, its player base has seemed to bottom out. Because, in the immortal words of poet Robert Frost, Nothing gold can stay. In just a few short weeks, Power World has experienced a kind of indie success story that most developers dream about when they get into the video game business. Since its debut on January 26, 2024, Pocket Pair's crafting and survival game has seen a meteoric rise in popularity on both Steam and Xbox Game Pass. What began as morbid curiosity about a game billed as Pokemon with guns has quickly blossomed into a dedicated player community, complete with mods, private role-playing servers, and lore specialists trying to piece together the game's bizarre storyline. However, the surprise hit has also seen its fair share of detractors, and those people may not be too terribly surprised when they learn that Power World has experienced a significant drop in its player base. A few days after the game launched in early access, it hit an all-time peak of 2,101,867 players, making it one of the most successful games in the platform's history. Power World surpassed Counter-Strike Global Offensive and began to zero in on the concurrent player record held by PUBG when its player base began to steadily decline. As of the making of this video, Power World currently has just over 356,000 players in the game on Steam, with a 24-hour peak of 574,423 players. In other words, the game has experienced a drop of roughly 1.5 million players. That's roughly 70% of the game's peak player base, and the biggest two-week drop ever experienced by a game on Steam. Despite the game's ardent fanbase, it actually makes perfect sense that Power World is experiencing this kind of decline. First, it's worth looking at the circumstances that made Power World into a sensation right out of the gate. Power World hit the scene in January with a perfect storm of hype. It benefited from having a bizarre hook, the controversy surrounding its character designs and premise, and it released at a time when there wasn't another big multiplayer release in the same window. Although new entries in the Like a Dragon and Tekken series both released in the same time frame, those two franchises have carved out their own niche in the industry. The folks who love them really love them, but they're not exactly massive go-to franchises for streamers looking to check out the latest craze on Steam. On the other hand, the controversy and curiosity surrounding Power World meant that just about every streamer looking to boost their numbers gave Power World a go. Since that momentous weekend, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League pretty much came and went, and now Helldivers 2 is taking up a great deal of players' time. Despite server issues at launch, Arrowhead Studios' third-person multiplayer shooter has already exceeded Sony's sales expectations and is drawing crowds on Twitch. Which brings us to the other reason why Power World has dropped off a significant amount. While there is still no doubt a great number of players who take the game seriously and make a point of logging in to check on their base every day, there are also plenty of gamers for whom Power World was a mere curiosity. The title's reasonable $27 price point was a small cost to pay for the opportunity to join in on a game that dominated so much of the conversation at its launch. Some of these already feel that the initial novelty has faded, with some some going so far as to call Power World the gaming equivalent of a soup de jour. Some see the game as a passing fad that simply passed a little quicker than expected. The numbers don't support that theory just yet, however. At the end of the day, the game's player count is still undeniably impressive, even with the drop-off from previous weeks. Power World just had a much bigger debut than many other early access games. As one player on the Steam forum said, a decrease in activity in players does not mean the game is dead. It just means the game launch hype has settled down. Many of those lapsed players will no doubt swing back around in the future to check out various content updates. Bucket Pair has an extensive roadmap planned out for Power World, so it wouldn't be too much of a surprise to see the game's player base surge again in the near future. The developer has also shifted its resources towards strengthening the game's servers, so it seems like Pocket Pair also expects Power World to be around and popular for quite some time. It is designed to be enjoyable even after the release. We hope you will enjoy it.